was upsetting to walk into my office and see, the, you know, a woman in a chair and the whole thing. And I'm doing everything I can to shield Alec from that side of my life. I got extra security. I got patrols all over the house. Extra security, I... so now my son is really going to feel like a prisoner. Oh, okay, but see, the thing is this. You, you knew what you got into. I mean, what? You, you knew that my business was dangerous. So what, what do you want me to do about it? I'm sorry, what do you mean I knew what I was getting myself into? I, I was pretty sure that I could probably count on the fact that it's okay for me to walk into my husband's office with our child and not find a dead woman sitting behind the desk. But I already told you it, it, it was horrible, and it was. He saw what he saw. It's done. What do you expect me to do about it now? The boy was taken from the only family that he has ever known. And brought here to live with us. We're strangers to him. Really such a bad mom. Well, but why? Because he's going to have nightmares. He's going to see dead bodies in his dreams now. And that's my fault. He's a little boy. He didn't know what he saw. What if we would have walked in on them killing her? But that didn't what if happen. that would have happened? But what if it, it would have happened? It didn't happen. What happened was unacceptable. I've said it already. How many times? And, I, and there's no point in arguing anymore. This is... It shouldn't have happened, and it's not going to happen again. I just want my boy to have a good life, you know? I just want him to be safe. That's what I want, too, for you, because you deserve... You deserve it. I accepted every part of your life. I knew it would affect everything. It was worth it to me. <laughs> because I, I just want to be with you. <laughs> and now, <laughs> I just want something different. It's just not. I'm a mom. <laughs> I have to think about Alec. <laughs> you know, I would never ask you to stay if I didn't believe that I could give you and your son a good life. But what about a safe life, Sonny? <laughs> there are no absolutes. I mean, I, I could... I could, you know, I take every precaution in the world. ask you something. If you could do everything over again. <laughs> if you had to raise your kids all over again. <laughs> would you change anything <laughs> about the way you've done it? <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of things I would have I would have done different. No no question. I mean I learned a lot of painful lessons, especially with Michael. Um, but, you know, I believe that I could, uh, I could maybe give Alec a, a better life. I don't, I don't expect a repeat of what happened this morning. I, you know, I would talk to my people and, uh, gave them hell so but look just to be absolutely sure I, I it would be best if you and Alec don't come around my office or the warehouse or anywhere I do business and for your own we could do that for now but what about when he gets older 
and starts asking questions about what you do for a living. Tell him the truth, I'm a coffee importer. So you want to lie to him? Well, I mean... I what are you going to do when he starts seeing your picture on the news and he starts asking why he can't leave the house without guards? Hey, if uh, this is a bad time, we can come back. Never a bad time to see my kids. Really? Because you didn't seem happy the last time you saw me. Okay, I'm very sorry that things got tense. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe if you stop treating me like a little kid and let me make my own decisions on what I wear and who I date. Christina, can't we not do this right now? Well, we're going to have to discuss it at some point. But maybe we should go, you two. We're obviously in the middle of something. Christina? No, actually, um, I was thinking maybe uh, you guys could stay and we could have... A family meeting. Sonny and I are having to make some difficult choices about Alec. And I just thought it might be helpful, you know, to hear how your father's business has affected your lives. Um, Michael and I actually, we talked about this some, but I want to hear what Christina's childhood was like or what you remember of it. Um, I didn't really spend that much time with Dad growing up. My mom kept me pretty sheltered. Yeah, because I, I saw her mainly on the, what, sometimes on the weekends, and then, you know, because her mother wanted her to be normal. Right, right. But I, I, I'm just saying there, there had to be that moment, right, where you realized, you know, that your father isn't a normal businessman. I guess I always knew. So your mother was just upfront with you about it? She didn't really have to. We'd hear things at school. Yeah, everyone pretty much knew our father was Sonny Corinthos. They were, the kids were either told to stay clear or try too hard to be friends with us to get invited to our house and see how we actually lived. Did that bother you? Uh, not knowing whether or not kids liked you for you or for who your father was? No, no, we, we, we learned to deal with it, and just like everything else. Just we had to live by certain rules that other kids didn't have to live by. Like guards? Yeah, but there's privileges. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know many other kids whose father owns a private island, so... Of course, my mother would never let me go. Michael would come back with this amazing tan, telling all these stories about snorkeling and water skiing, and there'd be five inches of snow on the ground here. But more than anything, I wish that I could spend more time with Dad, like Michael did. Yeah, I was lucky. I, I really couldn't ask for a better father. Neither could I. Hey. And that's not a bribe to get you to lighten up. No. No, I really mean it. Yeah. But you know what? Well, I know that we don't agree on everything, but I do know that you love me. I love you very much. And that's not going to change, even if you were that. I thought you didn't <laughs> want to talk about it. Could you take your sister home? Yeah, not a problem. Talk about this later. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Mm -hmm. Of course. See you. See you, buddy. Did you get your question answered? Your kids really love you. Alex can love you, too. I just hope that love's enough. This is open. We're going to have to make statements and answer some questions, but Diane doesn't think any charges are going to be filed, so that's too that's late. Good. Too late. Damage done. Brenda brought Alec to my office, and he saw the woman in the chair. Is, is he okay? Well, he's young, so, you know, he doesn't really understand what's going on, but she's got a big problem with it. She's questioning whether I can keep Alec safe, which is understandable. Right. But she went to Christina and to Michael and asked their opinion. So, just, you know, she's so just going to... Just so you know, I have guards all over that office. I have someone yeah. in the parking lot 24-7. It's not going to happen I again. wish this was just Anthony being Anthony. But you know, he's got something... Hey! ...to prove. Hello. Hi. 
say, Philip? Yeah. <clears throat> I have the most incredible idea. Can it wait? Well, just it just it has to do with Jason, so, you know, babe, you have Jason. Uh, for, for what? You have Jason. You know how the business has always affected your children, you know, in such a negative way, and it doesn't have to be that way for Alec, because you could retire. <laughs> Jason could take over.